This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I am on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games. I'm on Lesson 6, Sprites, and Part 12. All right, Draw Sprites. Notice that they wrote Draw Sprites with a capital S in the middle and no others, um, and as one word. That's because that's how you would do it in code. Right, so in code you can't have spaces for variable names, but to make it easier for programmers, for engineers, for coders to read, since you can't have spaces, you put a capital letter at the start of each new word, and you don't actually capitalize uh, the name of a variable at the beginning of it, right? Unless it's something special like a class, but we'll we'll get to that. Um, anyways, let's see what we're doing. Match the code with the image. Oh, okay. So I need to match this code with the image that it is going to produce. All right, so, and as a teacher, I can tell you, I actually get these results of my students. So if you're doing this as a class, yeah, I see the results. So uh, your teacher does too. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what we have here. Sky blue, draw sprites. Okay, now you really want to remember, and this is something I get wrong a lot. Whatever is at the top is what gets drawn first, right? So the computer just reads through it. So okay background needs to be sky blue okay now i'm going to draw the sprites okay variable dog right uh set animation dog create this elk thing set animation wait a minute though we told the computer to draw way up here before it had anything to draw we just said draw and there was no sprite thing so it didn't have anything to draw meaning all it could do was create a background there was no info for it to draw anything we said draw and it said okay i'm gonna draw okay there's nothing to draw all right now what do i do next draw has to come at the end all right sky blue check okay so we have our dog yep and our elk yep and then we set the animation yes and those are right dog corgi that would work i believe and then we draw it at the end so this one's going to actually draw both things right because we let it know what we want and then we set up the animations and the variables and then draw it. So that should be both. All right. Sky blue. Okay. Dog. Yep. Oh. And so this one, we say, all right, we want a blue sky. Check. It will color the screen blue. All right. Now we want to create a variable dog. Okay. And create a sprite that is 100 whatever and dog. Okay. And then set animation corgi then we draw it all right so these last two commands they don't matter unless we put draw again under it because the computer says yeah i'm gonna draw a dog done okay so you want a new variable elk okay and set an elk animation okay what else do i do is that it and that's all it's gonna do so this is only gonna draw our corgi and last but not least we create this variable dog and then tell the computer to draw it at this location we never set the animation to anything, so it defaults to a boring uh, square, rectangle, well, da -da. square. Great, I think that is it. Let's keep going.